Hey guys, George here. Going to continue our series on the U.S. Constitution. Up next is the Seventh Amendment. Let's get into it. In suits at common law, where the value in controversy shall exceed $20, the right of trial by jury shall be preserved, and no fact tried by a jury shall be otherwise re-examined in any court of the United States than according to the rules of the common law. Okay, so a little history uh, in the Seventh Amendment. Prior to the American Revolution, England enacted a series of strict new laws that the colonists had to obey. These laws infringed on the basic rights of the colonists, including the right to assemble and the right to a fair and speedy trial of your peers. The Crown was fed up with the colonial jury as they persistently rejected English law and decided cases against the will of the Crown. Colonial civil juries became a way for the colonists to self-govern by rejecting or reversing and refusing to enact English law. To ensure the government could never again impose its will and take away the rights of a fair and speedy trial of your peers in federal court, the Seventh Amendment was added to the Bill of Rights. Part one of the Seventh Amendment guarantees every American right to a jury trial made up of their peers. Andrew Beckett was fired. You'll hear two explanations for why he was fired. Ours and theirs. It is up to you to sift through layer upon layer of truth until you determine for yourselves which version sounds the most true. Part two of the Seventh Amendment has a re-examination clause that prevents federal judges from overturning cases decided by a jury. This clause was included to prevent corrupt judges from determining common law and to protect decisions reached by an impartial jury. All right, guys, that was the Seventh Amendment. Up next is the Eighth. Don't miss it.